here we go. Salute to Knicks Nation on this Tuesday night. Off season is over. No more Spider Mitchell talk. No more Julius Harden. No, no more, no more assuming. No more uh, 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 analyzing the off season. We're getting into hoops. And tonight at the Garden, the New York Knicks tipped off against the Detroit Pistons. And right away, Al, from the first play, we realized we finally have a point guard. Knicks win easy, 117 to 96, led by the new point guard, Jalen Brunson with an easy peasy 16 and 5. RJ chipped in with an easy 21 and 5. And Julius chipped in with 16, 6 and 4. We rearranged the furniture a little bit, set the tone early. But Jalen Brunson now set the tone early for the Knicks, man. Started off yes, the game. he did. Attacked the paint, got into his specialty, right into the paint. Nice little one-handed floater. Got us going, man. He scored from all three levels. The footwork was on display. Used his physicality well. To get separation, which he which he does very, very well, given his size. And I'm just watching this guy, man, and I'm like, wow, this is different. <laughs> Forget all the savior talk. We we know that. Forget all the savior talk and 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 you know the 50 bergs and all that. Forget all that. I'm just talking about what that looks like right now compared to what we've had and what we can expect this season. That looked pretty damn good. I loved every minute of it, and it's been so long since we've had a point guard. You know, we had that Band-Aid package of Raymond Felton and Jason Kidd, which did the trick for for the 20, uh, 2012-2013 season, but this is different, man. A guy that just – you just saw it as soon as he stepped on the floor. He, yeah. You said it. He attacked. He controlled the pace of the game. He was knowing he, – he, he was dishing it to everybody, knowing who to get involved at the right time. When the Pistons started to get close, he was like, all right, I'm going to get us back up in this lead yeah. and would just drive and attack the paint. A guard that could finish around the rim. He was still able to use his strength to just nudge by and finish around the rim. It was great, man. I loved everything about watching Jalen Brunson on this team. Having him being this, just the new quarterback yeah. of this team is going to just change the, the the outlook. Again, it's only preseason, and when you're watching preseason, look, these guys, they want to get into condition. They want to get back in shape. It allows them to do so, get back into game shape. A lot different than what they're doing in the offseason, right? And, and then, especially in the preseason, they want to go out there and execute what the coach has been preaching all week. And so that's what you're seeing here. Not to get too high, not to get too low, but again, with Brunson, this is his game. Whether it's preseason or not, this is his game. And again, just the wrinkle that he brings to this offense is going to be really, really nice. The driving kicks is what I was looking for. And who's going to knock it down? Is RJ going to knock down his opportunities? Is Julius going to knock down his opportunities? It's a bit of a mixed bag, but I think Brunson creating for those guys off of his drives is going to be really big. So that was a plus. Uh, uh, Drew, three, three offensive fouls. So good, good job by uh, Brunson on on both ends of the floor. Uh, Mitch with three with three blocks. Brunson had his hands out there in the passing lanes. RJ was stripping some balls. Uh, Pauls. Uh, Cam got some strips in there. <laughs> Fournier as well. That was very fast. You, you caught that. Um, Deuce six steals. You know, Deuce is trying to get his minutes. So I thought overall defensively they were very active in their first preseason run. Mm. My guy Hartenstein got into the mix early and looked pretty good. It looked pretty good. Knocked down a couple of threes, active yep. hands, active on the defensive end, um, had a nice pump fake on the three, and then drive into the lane. And as I said, man, I told you guys the night before free agency, I said, take a look at Hartenstein. I think he could help us. We got him the next day, and he looked pretty good in his, his debut, man. Coming in with that second unit. I, I just love that second. That second unit is always going to be my favorite as long as Rosen quickly mm -hmm. and, and Obi out there. But I, I just think he's going to be able to space the floor, allow Obi, give Obi some room to operate. D Rose, if he chooses to drive, but I think he's going to keep it more on the perimeter for a little while and even quick. 
And so Hartenstein's yeah, yeah. adding that that stretch big that, you know, he, he's like the young Taj, if, if you will. Just that whole dynamic of that second unit is going to be a lot of fun moving forward. What are your thoughts on uh, on Quickly? Yeah, I thought IQ looked good. Even had a left-handed finish attack in the rim, mm-hmm. right? And and uh, we, we did play on the last episode of Next Weekly, we did play the soundbite from, from Quickly's press conference talking about he wanted to finish with uh, with moves other than the floater. So really attacking the basket, using layups and what have you, and, and just trying to just um, altering his game and not just settling for the floater. And, and we saw that tonight. Uh, how about RJ, man? 21 points, five rebounds. Easy night for RJ, man. Eight for 14 from the field, three of five from downtown, two or two from the free throw line. I mean, if those are regular season numbers, you're good with it, right? I mean, for me, Absolutely. for RJ, it's, it's all about efficiency. And again, knock down two threes. I think one off of a Brunson assist. Went off of a Julius assist, and so that was mm-hmm. nice to see. And then finished pretty well on his drives as well. Those are the, those are going to be the keys in in RJ's offense. I yeah. thought Julius Randle played really well. Fifteen points, four assists, six rebounds. Uh, really was looking in great shape. Not you know much better shape than last season because yeah. he was a little slow tonight. He looked active. Uh, looked ready and poised to play tonight. Uh, had some really good strong moves in the paint. You know, and yeah. had some good dimes. Like there was one where he, I think it was from Brunson. He caught it. He started to get. He started to do, go into a dribble move. Almost lost it. And instead, gathers the ball. Yeah. And then dishes it right to RJ. Found RJ on the cut. right down the middle for for a slam. Julius played well tonight, man. Gotta give him his flowers too yeah. for what he did. But how about McBride too? He's like, yo, don't put me back on the, the bench. Do was not put me tonight. back on the bench. Yeah. Yeah. Deuce was watching this show. And he said, look, all these guys are talking about my guy Grimes. They're talking about Cam Hive, always talking about Julius, RJ. They're not talking about me enough. Deuce wants to be in the conversation, man. And he played well. You know, offensively well, is, is where his game needs to improve for him to get on the court. Mm-hmm. It's not about his defense. We know his defense is always going to keep him out there, especially if he's needed in, in certain situations. But offensively is where, you know, you, you want to see – improvements by him and they didn't really see it that that much but defensively he, he was he was active man very active hands out there six steals for mcbride tonight super super impressed with with brunson um tremendous performance um mm-hmm. i mean he's so crafty man it's incredible how easily he gets by his defender mm-hmm. with that first step so love him he's all business um i heart Super, super uh, excited to have a guy that gives us a different look. Mm-hmm. Um, I know Tommy Beer was saying uh, he's we're going to love him. We have a ton of depth. Um, as Han was saying on the season preview, um, depth is our strength. We have three centers. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're super loaded loaded at the wing. But like I think ultimately it comes down to um, having Reddish and Grimes. I mean, as we saw tonight, mm-hmm. so many different guys played. And it was so difficult to get everyone in and get them the proper minutes. Yeah. And if you add Reddish and Grimes to the mix, it's going to be even more challenging. That being said, um, you do want to have, you know, prevention against injuries and things like that. And we know mm-hmm. that's going to happen. Yeah. Super excited. Um, but I think, I think it couldn't have been a better opener for us. Uh, and hopefully everybody can see what Jalen Brunson is capable of here. Because he's not just a guy that you read his stats and say, hey, he's 16 points five assists that's who he is Mm -hmm. i think he's more than that i think he's he's keeping julius in check julius is a different person now i know it's only been one preseason game and and training camp is is, it's early in training camp but Mm -hmm. you see julius is playing differently man he's not he's not the focal point he's not sulking out there he has a different body energy um so i think that's positive so i think we just got to roll with that everybody in this team today they look like they got a chip on their shoulder. They look like they took last year personal. They took it personal, huh. and they came back this year. Everybody was working in the off season. My last man said Fournier is playing defense. I caught that. I said <laughs> what? I said I said yes. Let's go. He said it in the interview. He was working on his offense last year. Now, now he feels more relaxed and he can actually get on there on the defense. That's what I'm talking about. First game preseason. That's what we need right there. Okay, Randall. He gave me a flashback in the, in the first quarter. I said, oh, man, there he goes chucking up shots. And when he brought him back in in the second quarter at the end, I said, look at Randall. In the hole? The footwork? You've been working with Brunson and Toppin. I see you cherry picking out there. I see you cherry picking today, Randall. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, man. This, this is what I'm talking about.
talking about? I never, I never fully hopped off the Randall train because we all got personalized when we come home from our job. Yeah. I don't know what he had going on last year, but I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give him benefit doubt. If he's gonna come out here and play. Okay. Everybody knows that. If he comes out here and plays, we gonna be good. If he runs in that hole like he did in the second and the third quarter, we gonna be good. We got that. Next post game live. Presented by Manscaped. Remember, go to manscaped.com, promo code KFTV for 20% off plus free shipping. Also, remember that this show is available in audio podcast format. So if you miss it on video, shout out to the replay gang. You can always catch it on audio podcast format. So appreciate everybody for tuning in. See you guys Friday. Back at it. Next post game by number one show for the fans by the fans. Hit that thumbs up button for you, boy.